At Jailhouse Strong, we are firm advocates of physical culture, that is, a rigorous lifestyle devoted to cultivating, developing, and harvesting strength. Our most recent book, The Saga of the Tijuana Barbell Club, tells the story of the golden days of physical culture down in old Mexico. Even before the days of the Tijuana Barbell Club, there was the legendary strongman and professional wrestler, George the Russian Lion Hackenschmidt. Born on August 1, 1887, in the region between modern-day Estonia and Latvia, Hackenschmidt is recognized as the first pro-wrestling world heavyweight champion. He also invented the hack squat, introduced the bear hug, and popularized the bench press. As a young man in the gymnasium, he devoted himself to phys physical development. From a wrestler's bridge, Hackenschmidt could grab a 335-pound barbell off the ground, bring it to his chest, and bench press it. Upon finishing school, he became a fervent cyclist and won many races, but he devoted his time to Greco-Roman wrestling and strongman training. After a short stint in the army as an elite guard of the Russian Tsar, Hackenschmidt captured wrestling titles in Moscow and St. Petersburg. With the flamboyant C.B. Cochran as his manager, Hackenschmidt toured Europe and would often defeat numerous opponents in one night. Ruggedly handsome and with a physique seemingly cut from granite, he became a huge draw. When Hackenschmidt entered the music halls and theaters, women would sigh in desire and men would stare in awe. Well-read, cultured, and able to speak seven languages fluently, Hackenschmidt was popular in social circles and authored several books. He was friends with the magician Harry Houdini and the Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw. Teddy Roosevelt, a proponent of physical culture, said, If I wasn't president of the United States, I would like to be George Hackenschmidt. On May 4th, 1905, Hackenschmidt became the first recognized world heavyweight wrestling champion by defeating American Tom Jenkins in New York City's Madison Square Garden. But his best-known wrestling bouts were with Frank Gotch. The two met twice, with a second encounter being held at Chicago's Kaminsky Park before an audience of almost 30,000 spectators. Throughout his life, Hackenschmidt kept a strict diet and training program. He stayed away from cooked foods and maintained that the purest natural food for human beings would therefore be fresh, uncooked foods and nuts. He drank 11 pints of milk a day while avoiding alcohol, tobacco, and coffee. Hackenschmidt would rise at 7 a.m., take a cold bath, and dry off with a rough towel or with light exercises. From 8 to 11 a.m., he would have breakfast and take a long walk. From 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., he exercised vigorously. Lunch would be at 1.30 p.m., followed by a possible nap. He completed a second period of intense exercise from 5 to 6 p.m., and dinner at 7.30 p.m. By 11 p.m., he was in bed. On Sunday, he would not work out, but he would walk. There are some important takeaways from his daily routine. First, he was disciplined about his sleep. Remember the jailhouse strong decrees, get plenty of rest, and the body thrives on a routine. In addition, he stayed away from the jogging craze or other similar types of moderate cardio. Rather, he trained with intensity and completed active rest with his walking habit. While Hackenschmidt's legacy was commemorated with his recent inclusion into the WWE Hall of Fame, Keep his memory alive by ditching the skinny runny shorts and following his model of a physical culture lifestyle. For more stories like these, be sure to hit subscribe on the bottom of your